What's for dinner? Hi, how you doing? I'm Frankie the Butcher. What's for dinner today? Today we're going to make an authentic veal and peppers. Remember veal and peppers? And I'm not talking about the way you're going to make them in pizzerias today. I'm talking about authentic veal stew with peppers and onions. Oh man, it's going to be delicious. First you want to do is get some red peppers or green, whatever you like. Just slice them up. Okay, so we got the frying pan. We're going to put it on. We're going to put a little olive oil. Nice high heat. Okay, so now as far as the veal and peppers, I was having an argument one time with a guy that owned a pizzeria place. He's trying to tell me that veal and peppers is a veal cutlet, breaded, cut in strips, okay, with some peppers, and they call it veal and peppers. That's not veal and peppers. Veal and peppers is the way I'm gonna make it, the authentic way, the way my mother used to make it and my grandmother. Okay, so the meat that we're gonna use is veal stew, okay? So I got some nice milk-fed veal cut in chunks. Sometimes veal, the stew, the shoulder, it's not the most tenderest part. So what I got is I got a tenderizer, see? It's got like little needles. You just, it tenderizes the meat. It breaks up all the nerves that might be in there. And that's it. Now sometimes the meat is not cut the way you like it, so you cut it a little smaller. There's no problem with that. I like to make it just a little smaller so it cooks faster. Meanwhile, I want to see how my oil is doing. Yeah, it looks like it's nice and hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw about four cloves of garlic. I love garlic. You might say, this guy's always using garlic. I love garlic. And some onion, about a half onion. Meanwhile, I'm going to finish cutting up my meat. You see how nice in color the light, the veal is in color? That's what you call milk-fed veal. That's like the best on the market. If the veal is too dark, don't buy it because it's really not like milk-fed veal. Some people will try to fool you and tell you that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw my meat in there now. Okay, we're going to brown the meat. Again, always turning. You don't want it to stick. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to put a, like a pinch of uh, rosemary in there, some fresh parsley, a pinch of oregano, not too much, okay? Some nice crushed black pepper in here. I'm going to get that nice and brown. Now the last thing I'm going to do is throw in the peppers because the peppers don't take that long to cook. If you cook the peppers too long, they'll get too soft. In Italian, we say mushad. That's, that's what we say, mushad. Kind of like the chicken cacciatore, you want to let it cook by itself and simmer. On veal stew, the longer you cook it, the better it is. Here's another dish that I could let it cook by itself. Go watch the news, see what the Yankees are doing, and uh, I'll be back in two minutes. So I'm back, and... Uh, See how it's getting nice and brown? Oh, that smells so good. Well, it's my show. I'm not going to say it smells bad, even if it did. Okay, my veal is uh, nice and brown the way I want it. Okay, and you see this burning? Don't, don't get afraid of that. That's what's going to make part of your sauce. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my peppers, and I'm going to throw them in here. Oh, Maron, if you could smell this over here. Forget about it. I like to get that guy in the pizza joint and tell him to come over here. Keep the recipe. Don't, you know, it's good to change it just a little bit, but don't go totally off like bread and veal cutlets with veal and peppers. What are you, nuts? Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a little chicken stock. You can use veal stock if you have it, but chicken stock is just as good. Now, that stops the frying process. You know, now it's not frying. It's going to be like a simmer. See all that stuff that was stuck to the bottom of the pan? That's going to make part of your, you know, the sauce, the flavor. And I got some white wine. White wine is good with veal. Uh, always when you're cooking a light meat, like pork or a, or, or, or a veal or a chicken, you use a white wine. Dark meat, like beef, you use a, a red wine. Okay, I'm going to add just a little more parsley, you know? That's the thing about cooking. You could keep adding stuff, you know, every once in a while you taste it. Okay, it looks like we're just about done. The peppers are nice, just the way I like them. They're not too soft, they're not too hard. Okay, I'm gonna cut a little bread. What diet? Gotta have the bread. Okay. And we're gonna taste this. Wow. Nice and tender, just right. The juice on the bread, a little pepper. Gotta dip the bread in the juice. Nobody's here, so. Man. Ma, you did it again. I love you, Ma. You're the best, number one. 
For Frankie the Butcher, I'll catch you next time. This is Authentic Veal and Peppers. Don't let nobody kid you. Ciao.